It's truly fantastic to see so many eye-catching murals and welcoming features that now greet visitors to Ipswich Central. Bell Street is an important public transport hub for buses and trains, servicing more than 400,000 people a year. One of our city's busiest thoroughfares has been reimagined by the community, working together through the Ipswich Central Partnership, part of the Ipswich Central Revitalisation. We're a team of volunteers that was recruited by Ipswich City Council and we're all really excited about Ipswich Central and revitalising the city centre. We noticed that Bell Street was a bit run down, so we arranged a working bee and we got the community to come down and give it a scrub and just bring it up to scratch. And that, that left us with a blank canvas to do lots of artwork. We really wanted to freshen the place up with greenery and with the artwork, we really wanted to reflect the people and the place in the artwork in the city. We started off with painting the planter boxes and we did that by asking people what they wanted to see on the planter boxes and got them to pick up a paintbrush and start painting and that's how we met Tall Man. He started painting and he hasn't stopped. I got involved with Bell Street to pay it forward to bring myself back out to the community as an Aboriginal artist. Uh, my ancestors are from Gainda, Sherberg, Mergen, the South Burnett region, the Waka Waka tribe, one of the largest descendants of Queensland. The stories first came up with of my Dreamtime stories are from the Waka Waka ancestors. We are based in Ipswich, so I'm doing the three tribes of Ipswich, uh, the Yagara, Jagara, Utapul, and then I'm going from Queensland to Western Australia to involve every major tribe in Australia. Inspired by the Ipswich Central revitalisation, students from schools have collaborated and painted artworks on vacant shop fronts here on Bell Street. Dozens of students from the Ipswich State High School, Ipswich Girls Grammar School and the Ipswich Grammar School have hand painted their designs and have had plenty of fun in the process. The art project is um, really important for them um, in terms of allowing them to come into the city and make a large scale artwork which they haven't really had an opportunity to do before. Most works they do at school are around about A3 size so this is the first time working at this scale. The other reason is it, it gives them a chance to um, get their art out there um, for the community to get it, um, come and see it, um, to view um, just how skilled and talented they all really are. The design they do doing is an illusion. It's a bit like walking down into um, Bell Street and it has lots of references around Ipswich such as the railway museum, uh, the river um, and even the uh, railway station itself. My favourite part of the design is the top piece because it's very symbolic and has many meanings. For example, the front of the train, the night sky or what the original intention was, the universe and time and space. Bell Street is an important link to Ipswich Central, the cultural hub and beating heart of our city. That's why it's vital that we continue to work collaboratively with the local community, businesses, property owners and the state government to improve and maintain our city streets. For more information about what's happening in Ipswich Central, visit ipswichcentral.com.au.